my family and I had just gotten back from this really fun vacation and I had shared just little clips about it on my Instagram stories as I normally do. But as I was hearing from other women, it's just their challenges in their lives right now. I was like, there's so much that we don't see other people going through. And so I wanted to show parts of my life that I showed on social media from that trip, which were real and true, but then also like, here's the other part of the story too. The post was such a simple, here's a real look into my everyday life, my toddler melting down, the cellulite that I have when the sun hits me, the internal anxiety that I sometimes feel as a mother. When we can see other people having this real life that is similar to ours, we're like, hey, maybe there's not something wrong with me, or maybe it's not that my life is so different from theirs. Um, and so I think that really hit a chord with so many women and being able to connect us together, which is why it has been shared so much. I think that the days of people just posting like these beautiful curated photos, those days are over. And what is actually performing well are the types of videos where you feel like you're with someone and having a conversation with them and you know them. And so I do see that shifting, which feels like a breath air and I hope that it continues to move in this direction and that people are able to continue to talk about things that for a very long time have felt taboo or shameful to talk about publicly.